Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Maths again. And in this video, we're going to look at the binomial expansion for the further maths or the additional maths uh, exams, GCSE. And uh, I'll try and make it short and sweet. Uh, let's just jump straight into it, okay? A binomial is effectively a two-term expression, all right? So, for example, 3x plus 2y a plus B, you know, P over 4 minus 1 over Q, whatever you like. It's basically two things separated by a sign. That's a binomial. The expansion, the binomial expansion, you simply are multiplying these things um, up to a certain power. Um, so used to find powers of these expressions. All right. So, for example, 3x plus 2y, as I said earlier, to the power 7, right? Or a plus b to the power half even. doesn't have to be whole integer powers, right? It can be any power. And I'm going to run through this, as I said, as quickly as possible, get to the bit that you really need for the exams and concentrate on that. Um, just looking at a simple basic rule, anything like this, a plus b, to the power 0 we know is 1, all right? So that's easy. a plus b to the power 1, is just itself, a plus b. When you have a squared, you know, most of you, if you're doing uh, further or add maths, you know what that is, yeah, without any difficulty. And up to a cubic, for example, yeah, you can work that out by just multiplying the bracket after the bracket after the bracket, and so on. What happens is, looking at the coefficients, all right, so if I just put that in there, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, all right? Um, these coefficients are actually put together in something called Pascal's triangle, okay? And uh, as I'm just going to mention it, it's there and it can be used, but you won't really need it too much, okay? Um, you can see the pattern, all right? And um, so it just goes like adding those two to give you this one here. Adding those two to give you that one there, all right? And so on. That's how the thing works, okay? All right. Um, right, the uses of it. If I wanted to find a plus b to the power 6, I could just expand it out and use Pascal's, all right, the next of Pascal, so 1, 1 plus 5, 6, 5 plus 10, 15, 10 plus 10, 20, 10 plus 5, 15 again, and 5 plus 1, 6, and then 1 at the end. Always 1 at the front, 1 at the end. Using those, I could actually expand a plus b to the power 6, as I've done here. All right, so you've got the coefficients. The thing to note is that the powers Right, you start with a to the 6, the first one, and no b. And you work your way all the way along until you get to b to the power 6 and no a. Right? All the way through, the sum of the powers remains constant. In this case, 6, all right? Okay, that's just introducing it, and if I don't cover that bit, somebody's going to comment or complain that uh, it wasn't fully covered. What you need for your actual exam, all right? This is the important bit, all right? The easy and direct method. This formula you have got to know, all right? And I'll give you two versions of it. One is, for any given term, binomial terms, a plus b expression to the power n, okay? It's called nc0, all right? a to the power n, nc1, a to the power n minus 1, b, etc. all right? I'm not going to talk you through it. You can see it on the screen. You've probably got it in your textbooks. What does it actually mean? This nc0 thing means how many ways I can choose from n objects, all right, so it's like a combination, all right? Oh, hang on, spelling mistake, worry. 
um, the NCR actually represents that set of numbers there, that bit of algebra, all right? You don't need to worry about that, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm putting it down so that it's complete. But all you need to do is just use the division button, which has an NCR on it. You know, look at it on your calculator. And all you have to do is press shift. Well, first of all, put a number in, whatever your N number is. Press shift plus your division button. And that's your NCR button. And then the second number, all right? And then press equals, and that gives you the actual value. That's all you need to do. All right. So, for example, 5C3, uh, put in 5, press shift, and then the NCR button, which is the actual division button. All right. And then put in 3, okay, and equals, and that will give you an answer of 10. All right. Fairly self-evident. You don't need for your exam to understand why, what, whatever. Just know how to get the number. All right. Uh, there's another version, the version that I use, of the same formula. And it's not my creation before anybody makes any other claims or anything. It's not um, something new. It's in the textbooks, but it's the one that I tend to use for uh, most of the binomial questions. And what you can do is, without using the NCR, you can actually just memorize two or three terms here. First one is always going to be the first term to the power n, all right? Like that. So you got that. The next one, n times a to the n minus 1, b. Remember the powers must add up to be the same. So that's a 1 there. And again, together, the powers are n. Here, right? That and that. The powers are n. There and there, the powers add up to n, all right? The pattern you'll see, you go n, a power of a, power of b, the next one is going to be n, n minus 1, and a, n minus 2, b squared, divide by 2 this time, okay? Fourth term, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, times a to the power n minus 3, b to the power of 3, all divided by 2 times 3. So just to show you, all right, if you have to go to the next term, the fifth term, all right, be n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, a to the n minus 4, b to the power of 4, and underneath it, you'd have... 2 times 3 times 4, and so on, okay? Uh, this one, I find you can probably just, if you have integer numbers, if the numbers are whole numbers, it's actually much quicker and easier in an exam situation, all right? But I leave it up to you. I'll scroll back again, right? You have this one here, the NCR method, okay, that type of formula, or you can use this one here, all right? Whichever takes your fancy. Right, now, just giving you an example using both the methods, all right? You've got an expression 2x minus 3 to the power of 4, all right? So using the NCR formula, okay, the first one, remember n equals 4, and r simply means like you're starting off with zero there, and then r goes to one, r goes to two, all the way through n is always four, because that is the actual value of n, all right, etc. So, if I put in four c zero in the calculator, I get one. Four c one gives me four. Four c two, um, oh, hang on. What have I done here? Uh, I think I'm going to be careful. All right, that's your six. Um, there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I hadn't sort of written over in the bracket. All right, and uh, so on and so forth. Then you've got a four there, and then lastly a one again. So you've got one, four, 
6, 4, 1, which is exactly what we would expect for n equals 4. Okay? Now look at the actual terms. The first one, this 2x is effectively your a, and the minus 3 is effectively your b. All right? So this is a to the 4. This is a cubed b to the power 1. This is a squared, b squared, etc. All right? So we're just substituting in the formula, and I'm scrolling back again, up here, right, for the a to the n, then a to the n minus 1 times b, etc. All right? Letting 2x and minus 3 be my a and b respectively. And I hope that makes sense so far. So if we substitute that in, 2x to the power 4 is 16x to the power 4. All right? The next one, we already saw 4c1 is 4. And then 2x cubed is 8x cubed times minus 3, which is b to the power 1. And so on. All right? So if you actually um, work through, get each of those terms, all right, and simplify at the end, what you end up with is that there, all right? The whole expansion is 16x to the power 4 minus 96x cubed plus 216x squared minus 216x plus 81. Really important. Watch the signs, okay? Be very careful with that. Don't make any mistakes with that. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, so just watch out, yeah? The pluses and the minuses, etc. okay? And please don't make the mistake of, I don't know, minus 2 squared is minus 4. Don't do things like that. That's just careless, all right? Okay, so that's the NCR way I've just shown you. If I do it the other way with the direct input of the numbers, remind yourself of the equation again. There. All right? What we have there in the screen there. Using that. Okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate where it all came from. A to the power N. Remember we had um, 2X and minus 3 to the power 4. So that's a to the n is just 2x to the power 4. All right, so a to the 4. Then we have a to the 3, b, and this one is n, so that's there. This one is n, n minus 1, a squared, b squared, and the 2 is just the 2. Here we've got n times n minus 1, times n minus 2, and then you've got a, and you've got b cubed, okay? And then underneath, 2 times 3. And as I showed earlier, right, if you then go to the next term, right, you just follow the same pattern, okay? So that one should be fairly obvious after that. Again, when you simplify it, and if you actually take the trouble without a calculator, do the numbers in your head, you'll find it's nowhere near as bad as it looks, okay? And you end up with exactly the same result as the previous one, all right? There we go. There's no difference between the two of them. One final thing for the types of questions and things. Remember that all of these, are, the important part of it is actually the coefficients, all right? So, for example, the coefficient of the 16x to the power 4 is actually 16, the coefficient does not include the x to the power 4. It is just the 16, the number in front. Okay? And again, watch the sign. Right? The coefficient of the x cubed, all right, is minus 96, and so on. Okay? So watch out for that. And this is just an example. I'm not going to make the video any longer by going through uh, lengthy examples. If anybody wants a more detailed one or a particular question, please post it in the comments. 
and I'll be very happy to uh, work through it and put a video up for a few minutes on that. All right, watch out for the type of question where they give you, for example, a K, right? They don't give you the number, they actually give you a K. So, for example, 2 minus KY to the power 7, all right? And the question says, the coefficient of Y cubed equals the coefficient of Y to the power 5. Therefore, find K, all right? So, in which case, you actually just... Uh, do the expansion for only the two terms needed. And, you know, let one coefficient equal the other and a bit of algebra uh, rearrange and uh, so just a bit of algebra to find k. All right, that's as simple as that. Now, uh, this is just a made up one, just for example. Okay, please don't uh, you know actually expand this thing and then tell me that uh, y cubed and y5 don't have the same coefficients or something like that. It's just uh, a random example just to illustrate a point okay i hope that that has given a brief intro to uh, binomial expansion when right? all of it's there please take your time look through it again skip bits you don't need or don't want all right um but do make sure right after all of that stuff that we've covered the important thing is this this formula all right and for those of you who prefer that formula, okay? So pause or skip the video, go to those, and watch out. Those are two formulas you must know, all right? If you've watched this far, thank you very much for your patience. Um, yeah, it's a little uh, tedious, this. But if you found it useful, um, please do consider subscribing and uh, click on the notifications. I'll be doing more videos, like on the Factor Theorem, Remainder Theorem and uh, trig identities, sequences, etc. over the next couple of days, or next few days anyway. And uh, I'm sure I'd be very grateful for your support. So thank you very much, and uh, leave any comments uh, down below, and I'll be happy to respond to them if you have any questions. Thank you, and good luck with the exam.